Nextone post covers are very versatile and easy to install. The deck boards and joists on this deck need to be replaced. We'll be able to remodel this deck into something very special by adding Nextone post covers to the repair. If you are installing lighting, run all wiring to the posts before installing the post covers. The first installation sequence uses Nextone conversion fitting rings on the 4 inch post. If you are using very heavy gauge wire, you will need to notch out the conversion rings. If you use a smaller gauge wire, the wire should slide between the fitting rings and the post. Slide the bottom conversion ring over the post with the flange down. Use a level and shims to dry fit the rings so that the post cover will be level when attached. Attach the leveled rings to the post with nails or screws. Dry fit the cover over the fitting rings and check that it is level. Don't secure the cover to the post until after you have installed your railings. The railings will be secured to the post itself, not to the next stone post cover. If you are not using the next stone conversion ring kits, fur the post out to five and a half by five and a half inches. Dry fit all of the posts and shim them where necessary before beginning railing installations. We will install the railings using mounting blocks in this video. You may use several methods to attach your railings, depending on what type of railing system you are going to be using. Please see other videos in the Nextstone classroom for detailed installation instructions on several other specific type of railing mountings. And of course, follow the manufacturer's recommendations. Measure the height that the railings will be and mark them on the posts. Measure and cut corresponding holes in the next stone post cover at the height you mark on the posts and to the size of your mounting blocks. Dry fit the post cover over the post. Fit the mounting blocks through the holes in the post cover and secure the mounting blocks to the post. Dry fit your railing supports or your complete railing assembly to the mounting blocks. Attach the railings to the mounting blocks. Finish attaching the post covers to the posts. After all of the railings have been attached and any other wiring or accessories have been installed, use screws that are long enough to penetrate at least one inch into the furring substrate or the post itself, depending on if you have furred out the post or are using the conversion fit rings. Secure at the bottom, middle, and the top on all four sides. You can effectively hide the screws by starting the screws in the gaps between the rocks. Try to find places where the rock above the gap overhangs the rock below. Then hide the screw heads by sinking them an eighth of an inch past the surface of the post cover. When the post is secure, use silicone or adhesive to attach the post cap to the top of the next stone post cover. We hope you found this video helpful. Please check out the Nextone Classroom at nextone.com for more installation videos.